We're going over an interesting part of the Bible. Why is it an interesting part? Because some people think it has to do with the end of the world. Why? <coughs> well, because in some... Gen then Jacob called for his sons and said... You're probably wondering what... <coughs> well, he's giving blessings to his sons. And some of them evolve land, which doesn't line up with what the tribes get. And, I think in some translations... It says, in end times, meaning the end of the world. So some people think this has to do with the end of the world. <coughs> so anyway, then Jacob called his sons and said, Gather around so I can tell you what will happen to you in the days to come. <coughs> some people think that means the end times and days to come, I think in some translations, mean something even closer to sounding like end times. Like final days or something. As <coughs> <coughs> Assemble and listen, sons of Jacob, listen to your father Israel. Reuben, you are my firstborn, my might, the first sign of my strength, excelling in honor, excelling in power, turbulent as the waters, you will no longer excel, for you went up into your father's bed, into my couch, crop? A couch and defiled it. Also, yes, you can take whatever meaning you want from these into the world or prophecies or <coughs> what it says about the people. What just so there is a lot to discuss here. Simon and Simeon and Levi are brothers, their swords or the meaning of the. Hebrew word, the Hebrew for this word is uncertain. <laughs> that will be swords, so. Huh. Our weapons of violence. Let me not enter their council. Let me not join their assembly. For they have killed men in their anger. And hamstr hamstrung oxen as they pleased. Yes, this is referring to that whole... You know, the whole bill, their sister being raped, instant, sedent, <coughs> a few videos back. Cursed be, the, cursed be their anger so fierce, and their fury so cruel. I will scatter them in Jacob, and disperse them in Israel. Is that why the Levites don't have any inheritance? And then there's some man, which... Does have in hair. See? <coughs> <coughs> anyway, Judah, of course there's a B. Judah sounds like it, it may derive from the Hebrew word for praise. You already said that earlier? Why are you. Whatever. Your brothers will praise you, your hand will be on the neck. Of your enemies, your father's sons will bow down to you. <coughs> you, you are a lion's cub, Judah. You return from the prey, my son. Like a lion, he crouches and lies down. Like a lioness who dares to rouse him. <laughs> the scepter will not depart from Judah, nor the ruler's staff from between his feet, 
or from his descendants and tell he to whom it belongs or, there's a, or to whom tribute belongs meaning the meaning of the Hebrew for this phrase is uncertain shall come and the obedience of the nation shall be his referring to well the Messiah he will teach he will thresh thresher his donkey <clears throat> to a vine his colt to the choice branch he will wash his garments in wine and no he will wash his garments in wine his robes in the blood of grapes his eyes will be darker than wine his teeth whiter than milk hmm. or will be dull from wine his teeth white from milk okay sure Zeblen will live by the seashore and become a haven for ships his border will extend towards Sidon Sidon now if you find out later which you will he his inheritance is landlocked this is why some people think it's about the end of the world later times anyway this chart is a raw boned oh there's an F or strong donkey lying down among the sheep pens and there's another one or the campfires or the sandal bags okay then when he sees how good he is re how good he is his resting place and how pleasant is his land he will bend his shoulders to the burden and submit to force labor hmm Dan wait why is there an H um Dan here means he provides justice will provide justice for his people as one of the tribes of Israel <coughs> Dan will be a snake by the roadside, a viper among the path the, that bites the horse's heel so that its rider tumbles backwards. And some people think that from Dan will become the Antichrist and that Dan is like a one that got kicked out because it's not mentioned in Revelations and it's just like evil tribe and anyway whatever you can discuss whatever you want <laughs> oh I mentioned later in the Bible any videos it's just any your personal theories I don't know I looked I look for your deliverance Lord Gad of course there's an I or free he utters beautiful words Okay, will be attacked by a band of raiders, but he will attack them at their heels. You will get attacked by raiders, but you'll get revenge. Asher's food will be rich. He will provide delicacies fit for a king. Ooh, Nefetel is a doe set free that bears beautiful fawns oh wait wait a second oh wait I've read Gag sounds like the Hebrew word for attack and also for banner raiders 
Now it means, or free, he utters beautiful words. Okay, whatever. Joseph is a fruitful vine, a fruitful vine near a spring, whose branches climb over a wall. There's a K. Or Joseph is a wild colt, a wild colt near a spring, a wild donkey on a terraced hill with bitterness with bitterness archers attack him they shoot at him with this hostility but his bow remained steady his strong arm steady stayed limber Um, 23 and 24, or archers will attack, will shoot, and will remain, will stay, limber, okay, make up the translations what you, oh, because of the hand of the mighty one of Jacob, because of the shepherd, the rock of Israel, because of your Father's God, who helps you because of the Almighty, who blessed you, who blesses you. Wait, there's an M. 25. Hebrew, Shaddai, Shaddai, anyway, were. With blessings of the skies above, blessings of the deep spirit. Spring in billows, blessings of the breast and womb. Your father's blessings are greater than the blessings of the ancient mountains, than there's an in or a my prodigy pro, pro gen. Tours slash as great as the bounty of the age of old hills. Let all these rest on the head of Joseph, on the brow of the prince among his brothers. And there's a, oh, this is man, there's a lot of oh, or of the one separated from also some might think oh because Israel sinned all these blessings don't mean anything anymore anyway Benjamin is a ravenous wolf in the morning he devours the prey in the evening he divides the plunder all these are the twelve tribes of Israel and this is what their father said to them when he blessed them, giving each the blessing appropriate to him. Yes, there are some stuff to talk about here in translations. And I will try to read to you whatever the little notes say. Yes. It's currently... 11 o'clock. Also, subject to dark. You can see perfectly fine. Anyway.